Um, what's another thing, babe, that has been going on with my pregnancy? Cry a lot. <gasps> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I do. I became a crybaby with this pregnancy. I'm crying about everything. Like my husband can tell me, like, no, you can't have French fries or something, and I'll start crying and be like, but I want French fries. And then he takes me because he feels bad. <laughs> welcome back to my channel for those who are new here my name is Jenny and for today I'm so excited I'm going to be talking to you guys about my 16 weeks um, I just turned 16 weeks yesterday and I'm just so excited that I'm here you guys I'm so thankful and I'm feeling so blessed that I've come along this far and I'm just praying that everything's gonna turn out great so far and my pregnancy has been going very well we are currently going into the second trimester so yeah, you guys, I'm so excited. Before I even get started, I wanted to show you guys, I downloaded this app. It's called Pregnancy Plus, and it looks something like this. Let me go ahead and show it to you. It's this one, Pregnancy, it says Pregnancy Plus. And it tells you what day you are in, so on day 113, and we are on the 16th week. It also mentions things like about the baby's growth, and what new things the baby is going through this week. So it is actually very cool. My kids love to log in it every single Wednesday because just to see how the baby is developing and seeing what new things the baby is going through this week. And for this week, according to the Pregnancy Plus app, our beautiful baby is the size of an orange. <laughs> and it's saying that the baby should be measuring about 13.0 centimeters and 140 grams it's weighing so that is pretty cool and it's very interesting right just to see how much like the difference like I check every single week and it's crazy how fast the baby is growing another development that the baby is going through this week it says fat formation the veins that have been showing through your baby's skin are becoming less obvious as fat formation begins oh, so he's getting a little fat just like me <laughs> heart pumping it says the little heart is busy pumping 25 quarts of blood a day I don't know how to pronounce this but it's it says the meconium the first bowel movement your baby will have after birth is starting to form in your baby's bowel that's crazy those are basically the things that the baby is going through um, this week of development so that is very interesting and I just wanted to share that with you guys I also wanted to mention that I have actually have not had any morning sickness I haven't had it throughout my first um, trimester and now that I'm going into my second one I've been feeling okay so knock on wood the only issues I've been having my only symptoms have been nausea and dizziness and constipation cuz girl I'm sorry if this is you know too much info but like I just been so tapada it's crazy I'm like and I've tried everything, you guys. Like, the doctor just says, you know, drink more water and stuff like that. You know, exercise, which I've been doing. Like, I go out for walks every day. I've been drinking plenty of water. People say, oh, drink orange juice, but like natural orange juice first thing in the morning. <laughs> Nothing helps. I'm like, tapada, tapada. <laughs> but it's okay. It's all worth it. So I'm like, it's okay, babe. I'm doing this for you, little Rob. <laughs> Another pregnancy symptom that I have had is, I've been having, what do you call it? Like, like no energy, you guys. Like I literally feel like I'm dead. Like, so much. <laughs> you guys, seriously, like, I don't know why, like I literally feel like I have no energy. Like I'll wake up and I'm already tired. Like I'm already sleepy. I could take another nap right after I woke up and I'm just like, what is going on? Like I was always the person that I would wake up shower and I'm good to go I'd go to the gym and take the kids to school and you know I was always on the go and now it's like I don't know I just can't pull it out of me like you know other than my regular walks that I take like I just wish I had more energy but that's just another thing that I've been having is I don't have the energy I just feel super like exaggerated like tiredness which is weird because I'm not like that <laughs> But it's okay, my husband always tells me, enjoy being lazy, enjoy being in bed, enjoy doing nothing. Because when that baby comes, 
you're gonna wish you were in bed you're gonna wish you had this rest and you know he's right so I'm like you know what I'm not gonna complain about the about the laziness or you know just being completely tired and drained I'm just gonna enjoy it I'm just gonna take it one day at a time and my kids totally understand I'm like girls mommy just doesn't have the energy anymore I'm, you know I definitely still spend time with them and play with them but you know all the activities that we do are sitting down unlike before it was like we were running around jumping dancing singing and doing all these things that I always had to do with jumping so I'm like just understand mommy right now you know I'm a little my body's changing my body's different I'm like but hopefully when the baby comes home I should be back to normal so cross our fingers that I'm not gonna be like this for the rest of my life I just think it's you know it's just the pregnancy that's literally um, taking a lot of energy out of me for sure that's my only symptoms the only things I've been really struggling with is another thing that I wanted to update you all is that I did take a blood test where they tell you the baby's gender earlier. I had a lot of people telling me like, how do you know the baby's gender so soon? You usually know till you're about five months along and I'm barely, I just turned four months. So we, we took this blood test that does a lot of genetic testing for the baby just to make sure that the baby's coming healthy. And we did that test around the 12th week. That blood work that I'm mentioning to you all um, had the baby's gender. Um, and it is 90, it's 99.9 .9 or 98 or 99.9 .9 accurate. It's pretty high in accuracy and a lot of people say that it's more accurate sometimes than the ultrasounds, you know? I have another ultrasound when I turn 20 weeks, uh, but that one is going to be testing also the baby. I think they're going to be checking the baby's neck, checking the, the fluid around the baby, just making sure that the baby is overall healthy. The test that I did take a few weeks ago that contained the baby's gender that test everything came out great thank god everything was very like low percentage which you know that's basically normal which is good so we were happy that you know that test came out normal now they're gonna go ahead and do an ultrasound in a few more weeks they're gonna i guess see both the tests and make sure that you know they're both saying the same thing like that the baby's healthy and the baby's okay i'm excited to be able to see the baby again in a few more weeks because i haven't seen him since he was eight weeks so i'm gonna see him in 20 weeks so i think this time he's gonna be like four and we're gonna be able to see his little face He's gonna have little fingers and toes and I just can't wait. <laughs> my cravings, oh my god. I've actually had a lot of like sour cravings. Go to right now is pepino with tahini and limon. It's like, like right now that I'm pregnant and it has to have a lot of chile. Like chile has been my thing, which is weird because I hate chile. I'm like, I don't even like chile on my food. And now I'm like adding salsa and stuff. I'm like, this ain't me, but it's okay. <laughs> That has been my main craving, has been sour, I would say, and spiciness. The thing I wanted to mention, you guys, that I have been like struggling with a little bit has been my weight. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. And if you can't, and if you can't, well, uh, thank you for not be, being able to tell. <laughs> because my weight, you guys, I've been battling with my weight. And I've always struggled with the eating disorder. And so now that I'm pregnant, it has like triggered my mind and everything in me so it's kind of driving me a little bit crazy but i've been able to manage it and just you know it just it's all about your mentality it's all about just telling your brain that it's okay to eat you know the food that you're supposed to eat since i've always been a little bit overweight and stuff like that i've always battled with my weight you know sometimes i'm very skinny but i'm overworking out i'm not eating enough and i have gained already 15 pounds and i'm only four months along and so the doctor just wants me to gain no more than 20 which I don't think that's gonna be real with both my with my last two pregnancies I gain about almost 50 pounds with each so I think I'm looking at the same thing and I'm not gonna struggle or kick myself in the butt about it so much and I'm not really focus so much on the weight I'm just gonna try to enjoy it as much as I can and like I said I'm just gonna focus on losing the weight afterwards I have lost it before and I know I can do it again um, what's another thing, babe, that has been going on with my pregnancy? What would you say is like, what has changed like very big in me? Cry a lot. <gasps> oh yeah, <laughs> I do. I became a crybaby with this pregnancy. Y con las otras, no, huh? With the girls? No. With the girls, I was never a crybaby. I was, my husband can tell me like, no, you can't have french fries or something. And I'll start crying and be like, but I don't want french fries. And then he takes me because he feels bad. <laughs> oh, babe. Yeah. What's another thing you would say, hun? 
Do you actually eat chila now? Like spicy stuff? Yeah, that's what I was telling you. I'm like, I love chila now and I hate chile. Like, yo soy bien cobarde when it comes to chile. Eat pickles now? I eat pickles now. I hated pickles. I couldn't even have a pickles in my hamburger. Now I like them, which is weird too. <laughs> I like chile tatemados, which I never ate with my food, huh, babe? And now I like, I crave them. Like I wanna, like I see them and I'm like, I just wanna chew on them. I just wanna have them with my food. And that's not me, cause I, I never did that. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Just wanted to update you all. And don't forget you guys to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys until next time. Bump at 16 weeks.